In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing episode two of Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities titled Graveyard Rats. Now, this episode is directed by Vincenzo Natali, based on a short story by Henry Kuttner. This tells the story of Mason, who was a grave robber, and he is in desperate need of funds. Now, like the character in the first episode of this series, Nick, he was also in debt and need of funds. This continues on in this one, but this takes place around, I want to say, the 1800s or the turn of the century during the Industrial Revolution. Now, Mason is kind of, you know, really weary about certain things because we see two other grave robbers, but then he takes over and kind of, you know, does certain things. He gets bit on the hand by a rat a rat and then he goes to his i guess handler you want to i want to say where he gives him you know all the belongings he has and he gives this whole big speech about him being you know like in debt you know he needs time and everything but that he's terrified of rats and that they're thwarting his plan of getting prized possessions from people who died and the interesting thing is that when his certain financial situations become bleak and dire, he learns of a recent buried aristocrat who has some kind of connection to the old, you know, the Europe area. And he has gold teeth, he has this sword and everything. But as he's doing everything, and as and he's also the owner of the cemetery, I believe, or he's just posing as one, uh, He the body's buried and everything, and he opens the coffin, no bodies there like literally nobody is there and he finds that the rats are dragging on so he follows in and goes after these rats the feeling of claustrophobia that this episode you know showcased is absolutely insane if you're claustrophobic you will not have fun watching this episode at all so basically he's going through the tunnels and you know stops and you know it's, there's a cave in and then kind of he kind of like gets his mind together again and all of a sudden like he tries to figure out what's happening so you know he the rats go after him and he's still trying to find where this corpse is going where the rats have taken it can't find it and all of a sudden he gets bitten and attacked by the rats and then you hear something you turn around you see this in this distance something something's in the distance and it's the mother rat this huge like at, like a mind-blowing thing all of a sudden turns around and it's right in front of his face this scene literally and utterly scared the shit out of me i did not expect it to be right in front of him it got me really really good and if that happens it's a fantastic episode or a movie or a show for that matter now the mother rat is just sniffing him and trying to figure out what's happening grabs his gun he shoots it and all of a sudden he's running or crawling for, away from the mother rat i want to say that this was cgi but i highly doubt that because the close-ups looked like they were animatronics but the way it was done so scary so crazy and so so utterly creepy so as he's crawling he falls down this big big kind of like shaft he falls into a hole and in a way where he kind of lands in a kind of underground temple and this underground temple is dedicated to like this lovecraftian god or some sort like that or whatever he did explain in the few scenes before where people underground did these crazy orgies and everything and things were going on we don't know what was happening it was like the black church and he was mentioning this now while he's there he takes this kind of talisman or this relic from a corpse corpse reanimates attacks him and says mine mine constantly and over and over again and he just you know tries to make his escape again he gets to a path and doesn't know what to do the rat is the mother rat's coming from one side this corpse reanimated corpse is coming from another and he's lost he doesn't know what to do so he starts a cave in mother rat dies he's trapped and then he sees this light this this light in the distance goes to the light and we see that he ends up in a coffin and there's no way out his fear was death his fear is claustrophobia his fear is enclosed spaces and they captured that immensely all of a sudden the rats attack him and the two grave robbers you saw at the beginning of this episode 
open the coffin is like oh my and it starts moving and then these rats just start coming out of his body and every eye orifice you can imagine the aspect of this episode was really really good this is probably the shortest episode i believe in this series it's close to 37 minutes long and it does its job effectively and when it does that effectively by introducing a mother rat that's disgusting on screen and god forbid if you actually ever, ever see a thing like that in real life what the hell would you do i am <laughs> it's just the way it was done the story aspect was quick and simple grave robber has to get money how what happens the phobia fear of the claustrophobia aspect is front and center and the actor david hewlett who played a mason did a phenomenal job by capturing the horror the distress the anxiety and the panic that happened was immensely crazy and just the camera work and the i i do want to say i feel like it's puppetry and you know live and it's there's no cgi at all in certain some instances there are but the whole aspect of you know the tight shots the on the zoomed in face the you know the dutch up angle from the feet looking at him with the rats coming in like uh, absolutely beautiful and really really shot really well and something i didn't expect especially that little quick jump scare with the mother rat oh this oh man I, it's absolutely <laughs> mind-blowing how it was done for me episode two of guillermo del toro's cabinet of curiosities titled graveyard rats gets three and a half out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? Do you think that it could have been you know, fleshed out more? And did you like the look of the mother rat? Did you expect that to happen? And, you know, what is your fear? What is your phobia? Like Mason has claustrophobia. What for you is your fear? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And be sure you stay tuned for more of my review of Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. And I'll see you all in the next review video.